What is up, YouTube? This is Taylor Moss here from Everything Under the Sun, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that uh, building collapse I did earlier in the week. I had a request from a user on how to do that, so I will be showing you guys how to do it. First thing you need to do is make sure you go to File, uh, User Preferences, make sure you're on Add ons, and go to Object, and make sure that Fracture Tools is indeed checked. Uh, next, just uh, press spacebar and type Add Plane, as we'll need a ground plane. Press S and move your mouse outward to scale it up gonna add a material to it just for fun and then your plane is done next type spacebar and type add cube and you'll have a cube press GZ1 and that will move it one up in blender units uh, we're gonna stay in blender units for the rest of the tutorial um, because it's useful to stick to that when you're dealing with physics uh, next switch to blender game and we can add a material to this one as well all right. So uh, make sure you go into the physics tab and make sure that this is a rigid body and make sure it has collision bounds of a box and make sure that this is a static actor. All right. So now that that's set up, what we'll need to do is we'll need to start duplicating this block. So uh, if you press Shift D, that will duplicate the block. Then if you want to move it, you can press X, Y, or Z to stay on that axis. So if you press X and press 2, it will move over. Uh, the size of the cube is the size of the cube is 2. So we can press Shift D again, X4, and it'll move those over. So now that we have that, Shift D, and this time we'll go with Y, move it over 6, uh, Shift D, and now you can press Z to lock it on the Z axis, and then press R, and if you type 90, it'll rotate it. So then we're going to uh, move this over, so GY, I believe, uh, negative 3 and then G at Z uh, 2 and we'll have to push it back on the X axis so G X uh, let's do negative 3 oh what at control Z G X negative 3 and that puts it right there and then we'll shift D duplicate one more time and we'll move it over uh, 5 nope 6 Alright, so now that that's all set up, uh, press Z to go into wireframe mode and select each box. You can either use the circle tool, the box select tool, or manually. Once all those are selected, uh, we'll just duplicate that a few times and move it up. So press Shift D and then Z to lock on the Z axis and press 4 to move up 4. And we'll do that a few more times. Alright, uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is uh, move my camera around. So if you press Alt-R, Alt-G, it will remove everything. Pull it back on the Z, on the Y axis, and then pull it up. And press R, X to rotate, and rotate it towards your thing. Press 0 to make sure it's aimed kind of correctly, and that should be good. Alright, so now that we have uh, all of that set up, we if we press P, what will happen is all of these blocks will just kind of fall and that's basically it so uh... what we'll have to do is i'm going to change this to a sun real quick Let's see how that looks, alright it looks a little better um... and then what we need to do is to set up the fracture shard so press z to go into this mode and uh... move your light out of the way so you don't select it uh... then press b and box select tool all of your cubes then what you'll need to do is type spacebar fracture and click fracture object uh, you're going to want to turn the number of shards down to something small when you're dealing with a ton of cubes and then click execute and it will do its thing. Uh, then if you press P, what will happen is it will explode, which is kind of cool, but not exactly what we wanted. So if you go back into wireframe mode, box select them all again, and type set up fracture shards, then it will do its little thing, and then when you press P, they will all fall and collapse. And that's basically what it did for the video. I had a lot more blocks. I think my base was uh, 64 blocks and I did that about uh, 10 stories tall and then I fractured everything three times and that's basically all you need to know about the fracture tool and how to do that. Uh, if you want to render it out you'll have to go up to game and click record animation press P it will do its little dilly here and then when you're done press escape and go back to blender render and all of your keyframes will be saved and yeah that's basically all you need to know. Thanks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos let us know.